What's up happy people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Dara Evelyn and in today's video, I'm officially starting my weight loss journey. So why am I starting a weight loss journey? If you watch my 2020 mid-year vision board video, you'll see that one of my goals for the second half of this year is to basically get back healthy, get back in shape, and just physically active. So I thought, why not document this journey and take you all along with me? Also, so you all can hold me accountable, you know? So for the second half of this year, I am dedicated to getting back physically active, getting back in shape, and getting that old body that I used to have. <laughs> but for real, I am serious about getting back in shape for the second half of this year. I used to be so, super physically active before I got married two years, almost two years ago. But after I got married, that kind of slowly fell off. <laughs> and I'm trying to, you know, get back on. I used to run all the time. I used to be in the gym all the time. I used to cycle all the time. Where am I now? doing none of those three things. <laughs> so over the course of these two years, I have gained a little weight. I was 135 pounds when Trayvon and I got married. Now, I am 150 pounds. That is crazy to say out loud because I hate telling people my weight, but your girl is 150 pounds. This is the heaviest I have ever weighed. I've never weighed 150 pounds before. When I was in high school, I used to weigh around 115 pounds roughly throughout those four years. Then when I went to college, I started entering like the 120s. I was like 119 my freshman year, but then I slowly started going up to like 125, 128. 128 was like my weight for a while until around junior, senior year. Then I gained a little bit more weight and I was in the 130s. And I stayed like in the 130s consistently until after I got married. No, I take that back. I was in the 130s and then um, I think by the end of my senior year, I was 140 pounds and or 140 something i can't remember but that's the highest i had ever been at that time then when i came home my first year after college you know i went through that postgraduate depression that a lot of us go through and i had lost like a lot of weight your girl was like 120 something pounds um i can't remember the exact amount i lost about 20 pounds basically your girl was tiny and then I started getting back healthy, you know, getting my life together. And I gained a little bit more weight back in a healthy way. And I think when I went back to 130, I was there for a while until I got married. Some people have been telling me that a happy marriage equals happy weight, but not over here, not anymore. We can be fit, physically active and healthy while being happy so that's not an excuse <laughs> so here i am starting this journey it's going to be a process i know it's not going to be easy but i'm here for it all so moving along to my goals so of course my main goal is to lose some weight i haven't really set a amount that i want to lose yet but I definitely want to drop some pounds and I want to tone up. Ideally, it would be great to get back into the 130s and stay there. So I'm possibly working towards that. Secondly, I want to get back into being super physically active. Even if I'm not planning on losing weight and trying to tone up, being physically active was just a great part of my routine and it boosts my energy and my mood. So I definitely want to start being physically active again and putting that back into my current routine. My third goal is to cut down on sugars and carbs. Lately I have been snacking a lot and I've been eating a lot of bread and a lot of pasta. Like your girl needs to cut down on the bread and pasta but I can't help it. I love it. I don't really eat a lot of meats 
Um, I'll eat meat when I go out, like, mm, I love me a good steak. Um, but usually in the house or if we're going grocery shopping, I don't buy any meats. So our meals are usually vegetarian friendly. Occasionally I'll buy steak on the night we're feeling good or some salmon. But other than that, we're not really buying a lot of meats in the house. We will just enjoy that if we're going out to eat. So I don't really need to cut down in the meat department, but I do need to make sure that I'm getting my right amount of protein. So I need to start paying attention more to that. So my fourth goal is to be more cautious of the food I'm eating. So paying attention to my food proportions because that's how you can overeat and I'm trying not to overeat. So definitely trying to be more aware of that. My fifth goal is to drink 64 ounces of water daily. I was trying to do that a couple of months ago and I started off doing well, but then I fell off on some mood and everything. So I'm trying to get back into just making sure I drink enough water every day. So my sixth goal is to become well rested. And that just means going to bed on time, ideally before 10, 11 o'clock, more so before 10 o'clock, and waking up early to get the day started and not sleeping in on the weekends. You're just more productive that way, and you don't feel lazy throughout your day, and your energy is just better. And my final goal is to be happy. Yay! <laughs> but seriously, I want to be happy. This is. A tough journey I'm going on so I want to be happy with my goals happy and all that I do because if you're not happy you're gonna make it harder on yourself so I want to have fun and enjoy the process and be motivated on like getting to my goal and just looking at my process throughout each day, each week, each month, and just being excited to reaching the ultimate goal I wanna hit. So, what can you guys expect from me? So, what you guys can expect from me moving forward on this journey are weekly vlogs and updates, um, possibly some meal prep videos and some exercise videos and whatever else I come up with while on this journey. So I'm gonna keep my normal upload schedule with posting on Wednesdays, but for this particular series, I'm gonna start uploading on Sundays. So if you're interested in following along with me on this journey, you can expect a new video every Sunday. Just be on the lookout for when I post my new video for that. It will most likely be not this Sunday that this video is posted, but the following Sunday. Just be on the lookout and you'll know. And before I end this video, I did want to share with you all some photos of how I used to look when I was physically active and how I look now. So the first two photos are me right after college at the beach on two separate occasions. As you can see, I had a healthy, pretty thick weight. I was around that 140 area, I want to say. Then the next two photos is when I started to lose weight a little while after college. Like, oh my God, my neck is super skinny. My legs are super skinny. I was just so tiny. I was working out a lot, but I was barely eating. I was just not healthy. Then a little further down the line, I started gaining a little weight back and I was looking good. Next photo is Trayvon and I at our engagement shoot. Like dang, we were both fit and small. Then the next photo is a year later at our wedding. We were of course a little bit bigger than we were at our engagement shoot, but I was still in good shape and had a good weight on me. Now this is where I'm currently at and this is a major shift from what I'm used to and where I used to be. As you can tell, I've gotten wider, I've gotten more weight in my stomach, my thighs, my butt, my arms, my neck is thicker. I'm just not pleased with how I look at all. This journey is very important to me because I just want to get back to feeling healthier, getting in shape, and having the body that I want. And it's been a little uncomfortable seeing the changes that my body has made, especially when people 
pointed out that you gained weight or gotten a little thicker i mean if you're getting thicker on the positive side that's good but if you're getting like big in areas that you know don't look that pleasing to you then that's something you don't want to hear and don't even get me started on people asking are you pregnant like what <laughs> I gained a little weight and you have the nerve to ask me, am I pregnant? Anyone who asks that should just be slapped. So you guys have seen where I used to be at and you see where I'm at now. So let's get started on this journey. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited to take you all along with me. Like you don't even know me putting this out there on the internet to the public is definitely going to motivate me because now I can't BS myself. So stay tuned to the next video. Again, it's going to be uploaded probably not the Sunday after this is uploaded, but the following Sunday. Just be on the lookout. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching the intro to my weight loss journey. This was definitely a very open and vulnerable topic for me, but I'm excited to bring you all along with me. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up. We're on this journey together. Well, until next week, I'll catch you all later. Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my